Hello, hey houses, it's worship time and we're gathering together this term to think about life being an adventure, what we need for that adventure, what we're looking forward to and uh, how we can share it with our friends. So, hello, hey houses, good morning, everybody. The Lord is here. His spirit is with us. Now, in the hall, on the wall over the big freeze, there are lots of stars, lots of stars, and they have different words on. Courage, and forgiveness, faith, hope, love, justice, equality, and a really important one we're going to think about today, respect, respect. In our adventure of life, we'll meet lots of different people. And one of the important things that I think marks a Christian out is that they treat everybody with respect, however different they are. Now then, I have at my house a Russian doll. It's actually from Poland, but it's a Russian doll. And we have lots of fun with this. When the girls were little, we used to undo it and get all the dolls out. Now, those of you who've never seen a Russian doll before won't know that that's what you see. And you might just think it's a wooden toy that's painted beautifully. It's got these lovely flowers on it. Not quite match them up right up. I'm gonna put it together. Now, there we go, matched them a bit better. And it's got a lady's face and flowers on the dress. But for those of you who do know, there's something different about this. If I, oh, oh there's another one inside. Oh, a little bit different, this one. She's not being matched up properly either. There we go. Look at that. Just a bit different, isn't it? That was a blue headdress. This is a green one. I think we're all a bit like a Russian doll. What you see on the outside hides everything that's inside and keeps going, doesn't it? There are lots and lots of different layers to all of us. Getting smaller and smaller, aren't they? But what, when people meet us, they see perhaps what we look like, what color hair, what color eyes, if we're tall, if we're short, if we're smiley, if we're grumpy. They'll just see what we look like, but they don't know what we're like inside. And for Christians, what we're like inside is really important because God made each of us different. God gave each of us something special that makes us different. But God loves us for those differences. And just as these little Russian dolls get smaller and they're all different. That's that little pattern up there. There's less space for different patterns. It's all different. That's what we're like inside. There's lots of different layers to us and lots of different things. But the important thing is that those differences are celebrated. Those differences, those special qualities are really important. They make us unique. They make each and every one of us very, very special. And for Christians, in understanding that we're different and in valuing that difference, we show respect. Now, I'm not sure what you all know about respect, so I'm going to get some children to come along and say what they think about respect. So I'm just going to be very clever, I hope, and pause this for a moment. Well, I've moved locations and I've got Sophie now. Sophie is going to read a really good story from the Bible, from our Storyteller Bible, and uh, then we're going to have a chat about it. So I'm going to hand over to Sophie. And so just step forward. Okay. Come to my party, a man said to Jesus. So Jesus went along. But in the middle of the party, he turned to the man and said, you invited all the wrong people. The man was surprised. What do you mean, he asked. Jesus looked around the room. When you throw a party, you invite your important friends, your favourite relatives and your rich neighbours, don't you? Of course, the man nodded. And when they throw a party, you hope they invite you too. That's right, the man said. Well, I have a better idea, said Jesus. The next time you throw a party, send your invitations to the poor, the crippled, the sick and the blind. 
But why? asked the man, more confused than ever. Because none of those people could ever pay you back. They are not rich enough or well enough to throw parties of their own. But I can tell you, God will be so happy with your kindness that he will save a special seat for you at the party he plans to throw in heaven. One of the other guests heard this and shouted, Hooray for God and everyone who gets to go to his party in heaven. This reminds me of a story, said Jesus. Once upon a time, there was a man, a rich man, who threw parties for his friends. When everything was ready, the drinks and the cakes and the decorations, he told his servants to go fetch the guests. When the servant knocked at the first guest's house, the man met him at the door with a worried face. I cannot come, he said, for I have just bought a piece of land and must go see that it is all right. When the servant knocked on the second guest's door, the man's face was much the same. Cows, said the man. I just bought some cows. One can't be too careful with cows. I must make sure they are well. This is the same with the third guest. Can't come tonight, he explained. Haven't you heard? I just got married. When the servant reported all this to his master, the rich man was very angry. So they can't be bothered to come. Well, I know plenty of people who will. Go out into the streets, he ordered his servant, and invite the poor, the crippled, the sick and the blind. And so they came. The people no one else would invite. It was the best party the rich man ever threw. Jesus looked around the room again. Hooray for God, he said. Rich and poor, sick and well. He loves us all. And he wants us all to come to his party. Thank you, Sophie. Thank you very much. We're just going to pause again. So we're thinking then about respect, respect for difference. In that story, we heard about lots of different people being called to the party, not just the ones that were expected to be invited, because they had different excuses, didn't they? They didn't want to be there. And if we think about Jesus's big party where he invites us to join with him in our life's adventure, then it's really important that we accept everybody not just some people. And I think that let's take this week to think about who we really want to respect and what we think about that word respect, how it values difference and it doesn't say no to some people and yes to others. After you've listened to this, perhaps in your classes, you can talk about your differences in your classroom. If we were in the hall right now, I'd be asking you different interests, different things you felt you were good at, not just about what we look like, but how we behave, what we do, the type of people that we are, because we're all different, just like these Russian dolls. We're all different, and that's good. And inside all of us, there's many different layers, qualities and values and skills. So today, on our journey through this year, our journey of adventure, let's value again respect it's good manners week but every week is good manners week and in showing good manners we're showing respect it's a really important christian value and over the next few weeks i'm going to talk to you about inspirational christians and the most inspirational christians followed jesus's advice to love one another as he loved us and in that showing each other respect valuing difference so hands together, eyes closed. In the moments of quiet, let us bring before God all the people that we love, wherever they may be. Let us bring before God our friends and all their differences. And let's ask God to help us respect and value each and every one of us within our school classes and our school family. Dear Lord Jesus, when you lived on earth, you called your disciples to follow you. They were all different in so many ways, and yet you loved and respected each and every one of them. Help us today and every day to value difference and to respect each other. We ask this in the name of our Son and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Well, I hope you have a lovely day, boys and girls, and I will be seeing you all very soon.